Hello, this is Daniel Watrous. In this video, we're going to discuss the appearance settings, how to configure the appearance of your plugin in uh, WordPress opt-in crusher. Uh, so, so far we've covered the general settings and the animation settings, and the next section that appears is the opt-in appearance settings. And there are two components to how your footer looks. The first is a thumbnail, which is uh, this um, image right here that you see. And you see that I've got a bunch of them uh, pre-made. In a, in a later video, I'll show you how to customize these. And the other is the, the background that, that runs along the, uh, the bottom of it. And so right now, you'll see when the footer comes up, I've got the free report icon and then the orange background running along the back. Uh, and, and there are other settings we'll get to in just a minute. But first off, if you wanted to change this, for example, to a special offer, all you do is click on the special offer icon. And let's say that you wanted it to have this nice uh, two-tone uh, blue background. You just click on that. After you click on those, you click Update Settings. And come back, and you'll notice that now on your site, it uses the special offer, and it has the blue background. So that's how easy it is to configure these. And if you have created your own custom uh, background or um, icon, all you have to do is provide a URL to wherever that happens to be. So uh, that, that's how easy that is. Now, as you move down a little bit here, you'll notice the other aspect to appearance is the color of the, uh, the font, which says, get my free report about taking over the world, uh, or the name and email. So the, the color of those fonts. And then the color of the background of the light box that appears, and the, the color of the font here as well. So let's go back and we'll take a look. In the opt-in lightbox message settings, there are two areas, two places where you can change the color. So this is the call to action font color. And you simply click in the field and it pulls up this uh, little uh, color picker. And you can, you know, again, move this around wherever you, want, you like. You can change the saturation and the lightness of the color. And once you've found a, a color that works for you, uh, you just move into the next one. You change this. Let's say we want to go a little green. And then down here in the Aweber form details, you also can choose a font color. And often I make these match. So I just copy this, come down here, and paste it in there. So choosing colors is really easy. When you click Update All Settings, you'll see the little settings save message. Come up to the top, hit Refresh, and now you'll notice that your fonts are the nice blue color instead of the black. And your opt-in box mirrors the same blue for the font, but now it has this green background. And if you feel like you went too far with that green background, then you come back in. And it's easy. You just tweak it a little bit. You just pull some of the saturation out. Moving that little uh, crosshairs around. Refresh. And, okay, so that's a little more mild. So those are the appearance settings. Again, you can choose the, the thumbnail and the background or provide your own custom version. And then you can change the color of the font, the color of the background of the light box, and the color of the font for the Aweber form details. So uh, anyway, go ahead and uh, customize this until your site looks uh, just perfect. And uh, watch for the, another video where I show you how to actually customize either this, this thumbnail, or this icon here, or the background. Thank you.